And today on the ramp we've got the Toyota Estima. Um, went for its MLT on Saturday. It passed with flying colours. It got an advisory on the brake pads. So today we will be doing the brake pads on it. Um, also we've got a little problem with the headlights. Um, the headlights seem to have a mind of their own where they're coming on by themselves. Um, so we're going to hopefully tackle that problem. So as you can see, the brake pads are quite worn. Um, we got a visory for scored pads, but once the new pads are in, they'll take all that away. It's just because it hasn't been run in a while. Um, you can see some of these added spacers. To this um, for the bigger wheels. Don't know how I feel about that, but hey ho. Alright, so we'll be doing the brake pads on this year, so I'll keep you updated. Okay, so we've got all the wheels off now. Now I had a bit of issue um, trying to get brake pads for this. Um, for some reason the AR30, um, the VIN number for these obviously they're slightly different VIN numbers than what we're used to. Um, but it wasn't coming up on their system. But they managed to find some and it pairs with the Previa. So once they were ordered um, I thought I would get in about this year but these stupid wheels um, they have different sockets for taking them off so my, my usual sockets wouldn't fit into the holes so I had to use the old rusty I don't even know what this is I think this is a spark plug remover but I had line, line in one of the boxes and lo and behold, there was no locking key inside the vehicle. There wasn't a wheel key neither. It's got a jack. Got everything else. So it just seems someone's played funny beggars. But can it be helped? Um, so once the brake pads are done in this, and once we've got the problem with the headlights sorted, um, I'll get it in to get it validated. Um, the vehicle itself is in meticulous order. Um, right, condition of it wise, it's very, very good. Obviously, it's got its wee blemishes here and there, stone chips on the bonnet. Um, but generally, all round it is really, really nice. Really nice vehicle. So, it should be pretty good when it goes up for sale. Um, it'll be interesting the type of customers that I get out. Um, for this year one. Um, I've never really dabbled in Jap before. Um, so there's a start for everything. Right, so we have all the pads off. Now the back ones that had the advisory, I wouldn't say they're bad. Um, obviously it was the discs, uh, but they did say that the pads were running low. They're not but we'll put new ones on it anyway. 
The front ones, on the other hand, they didn't really have an advisory. Or pretty low. Now this here was the passenger side. And this here was the driver's side. So, definitely caught in the nick of time. So, we'll get the new ones out. Get a comparison on them. Um, then what we'll do, we'll service up the sliders on the calipers um, and then get the new pads on. Then we'll have brakes and then we'll get stuck into this phantom headlight problem. So nice shiny new ones. I've never actually had them wrapped up like that before. Um, but hey ho. I suppose it's a different brand for these here blueprint ones. I've used blueprint before, but they've never been wrapped up like that. It's always been a different packing. Okay, that's him unpacked. Um, we should notice a brave uh, difference with these. We've got more beef than a butcher. Lovely jubbly. That's a bit. Back brake pads on, well greased up. On the backs of them. And the front pads. So basically the next thing we need to do is get the sliders off. And give them a wee clean up on the wire wheel. Um, and re-grease them. The lights seem to have behaved themselves for the past half hour, but I'll no hold my breath. But that should make a hell of a difference. Okay, so we've got all the sliders removed. Um, just got to clean them up with this wheel. Um, copper slip them and put them back on. Um, that should make the calipers run to their optimum performance. Well, the just remember, whenever you're cleaning these up, you need to face protection. Here comes the music. Quite a good pedal. Much better. A 
actually feels good. Okay, I've been sitting inside the Estima for the past half hour. Um, none of the lights came on on the front, didn't automatically come on. Um, it's really, really odd. Um, the only thing, the only thing that I've done so far um, to try and combat this um, is the indicator stock. I took it out and sprayed like a contract cleaner down it and basically worked it back and forward, refitted it back up again. It behaved itself and then boom, the, the light came on again. So proving what I've done didn't actually work. Now, what else I've done is there's a wee sensor on the top of the dash. Now, for what that is, I don't know. Uh, this here. So what I done was I took the cover off it out, uh, covered it in uh, red electrical tape. Uh, hopefully, if that that is a sensor at fault, um, it's covered all the time, so it's not going to get any activity at it. And also, there's a wee small sensor in the bottom of the windscreen. So I put a wee square of electrical tape on it. Uh, obviously, that's not gonna that's not gonna last um, because heated windscreen. So it's gonna melt that, melt the glue on it, and plus with the wipers going on, it's gonna come off. But it's only I'm just trying to eliminate faults in there. So these are only temporary. So if it's proven that this is a fault or whatever this is is a fault, then we'll work on getting it replaced or find an alternative measure for it. Or on the inside, uh, possibly replace. Look at replacing this um, because I've I've sprayed this with electrical contact cleaner. It seems to have behaved itself, and then all of a sudden. Obviously, when I'd mentioned uh, the CCTV picked the the footage up of the lights randomly coming on, I'd already went home from work, and um, when I came in, the battery was dead. Um, turned out the lights randomly come on. Um, but it seems to be whenever it comes on, I jiggle this, so if I'm flashing the lights, and then the lights come off. So, will be worth changing this. You know, am I just going to keep replacing parts and not get to the bottom of it? I don't know. But anyway, see if any of you's watching have anything uh, available. Um, the same type for this year. I'm led to believe previous. Uh, the indicator stock actually are the same. Um, if you've got one for sale, um, just put a message in the comments or DM me, uh, I'll be grateful. Okay, so I'm a bit disappointed, um, the phone got damaged, uh, so it will, will affect my video making. Um, so hopefully I can get another phone pretty pronto that I can do all the wee bits and pieces that I need to. It's just so annoying. Got a 10mm underneath. It's got a 10mm up top 
Uh, they both have earths on them. So we're going to remove the nut. It's a nut at the bottom and a bolt at the top. So we're going to be removing them on doing the clips. They're just push clips. You just push and pull out. Easy as that. Now obviously you've got the battery disconnected um, I wouldn't attempt to do this here when the battery's plugged in um, So we want to loosen these so I'll just get them started off um, with the ratchet and You just need to jimmy it, getting it out. Just be very careful not to nip any of the wires. But I'm trying to show you as in depth as I, I can possibly go. Right, so by the looks of it, the pollen filter needs to come out to allow room the pollen filter looks like it's not been changed in time we had a sneaky little plug that was stopping it from getting out which was this here one I just didn't see it admittedly enough so that's it pushed out some amount of footer and about to get these out eh So we've now got an ECU out, so we're just going to undo the wee screws and lift the lid. I'm going to check the condition of the ECU as well. Just may as well do it while it's off, but we need to get into the BCM. Okay, so the lid for the ECU is now loose. Gonna undo these two and um, hopefully lift it up and get a look at what's underneath. Okay. Okay, so I've just sprayed some electrical contact cleaner. Everything looks fine on the ECU itself. There isn't really any ECU faults, but it's better doing this wee bit of maintenance. As you can access these, are no a sealed unit. And if you're very, very careful, then there's no problem.
So I've just got a track down where the BCM is. Um, it was under the influence, it was in the glove compartment and behind the glove compartment, but hey ho, I've been proven wrong. Okay, so that's it tightened up. We just got to offer it back up again. A closer inspection with the ECU out. Doesn't appear to be anything obvious. Fuse box looks like a complete nightmare to get out. Very daunting. I'll we'll put that one on the back burner and um, I'll focus around the driver side see if I can find anything over on that side as well we'll get this ECU back in see if it's easy to win I doubt very much Again, just try your best not to damage any wires. So that's good to go. We just need to locate the earth to come off it. Oh, absolute pig to get into. Right, so we've located both of the earths. Just going to make sure that the ECU is seated properly in place on its wee stands. There's one in. Okay, so let's see if one goes to the top. Job.
o sea, es actual. Just get the second off on and offer the 10 mil nut up to the thread. So thankfully on the ECU all of the plugs are different so you can't mix them up but just obviously have a look because you don't want to be offering up something that clearly won't fit and you might end up bending some of the wee bits on it. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Two more plugs to go and I said I'll plug back together again. Okay, that's a job so good one. Compartments back together just exactly the way you took it off, that's how you put it back on. We will go over to the passenger the driver side and we will be investigating him behind the column there. See if there's a control module there. Okay, so we're gonna be taking the we panel trim off. It's that little screw here. Another over here. Check for hidden ones. No, it's just a clip. So that just pops out. So you need to be careful with these as well. Um, due to the fact... That there's also wires on this. You don't really, really do not want to be damaging any wires. Just undo the wee switches. So, rather than disconnect these here ones, I'm just going to leave them ones plugged in. That'll give me a good scope in here and see what's what. Assuming this is a body control module. Okay, I've undone the 10 mils and sprayed some electrical contact cleaner at the front and back of it. I know it's not ideal, but I'm not an electrician, so this is how it's just going to roll for the time being. Um, at least I can eliminate as much as I can to see. 
also down here I've sprayed electrical contact cleaner into these so what the plan is is to hook the battery up um, and go over it with a test lamp and see what's what so battery's now on and yeah the what do you call it The headlights haven't came on yet from a disc from a connected the battery up. So all the fuses are fine. Also, redone that earth, uh, cleaned it up as well because it was looking a wee bit uh, built up with verdigree. There's also, so let's see, I think there's a couple of fuses in here too. It's just so awkward to get into. Let my one seem okay. Not sure if these here have a wee button to close them. Doubt it.